Welcome back to Mother Nature's Secret, A Charming Vegan Tale by Mary and Haley Moss, Part 2 of 6. Last week, we read the first chapter of this charming book. We met a young boy, Owen, who is visiting his uncle's farm with his new rescue dog, Dudley. Owen and Dudley are upset to learn of the chuck that takes the farm animals away, never to return. What will they do about it? Let's find out now as we continue with the second chapter of Mother Nature's Secret, a charming vegan tale. Bright and early the next morning, Cornelia was having a breakfast of oats and barley. She was about to set out for pasture when she heard, Cornelia! 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 Owen and Dudley came running toward her. We were up most of the night. We decided we would have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Uncle Frank soon. Cornelia told them an idea also came to her the night before, after looking at the stars. Maybe we could have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Mother Nature. Mother Nature! His little legs quivered with excitement. Great idea! We'll go right to the source. She'll know what to do. But how do we find her? That was the big question. They would have to go looking for her. And they would also have to be back before sundown. That was when Farmer Frank would return from selling at the market in town. We've got to try to find her, not only for Cornelia, but for them. Many of the barnyard animals had been listening in to their conversation. Can I come with you, Cornelia? Oh, Cornelia kindly told her to stay and watch the farm while they were gone. She promised they would be back with news before Lily could bleat. Bah, bah, bah. Cornelia, Owen, and Dudley walked to the pasture gate. Gus the goat opened the latch with his horns. The three friends stepped into the big field with trees and hills in the distance. Should they go right? Should they go left? They took a deep breath and went straight ahead. They were on their way to find Mother Nature and a bright future for Cornelia and all the farm animals. Well, this is quite an adventure. It's a big world out here. We don't even know what Mother Nature looks like, but I'm sure we'll know her when we see her. A steep hill loomed ahead of them. It was a beautiful day for a hike, perhaps a little too warm, but they couldn't complain. They hoped that Mother Nature would hear them talking or hear the cow bell around Cornelia's neck and maybe she'd be kind enough to show herself to them. Woo, this goes on forever. Just as they were nearing the top, the hill seemed to grow higher. Was the noonday sun playing tricks on their imagination. Oh, finally, they reached the top. They looked down over the big expanse of countryside. Oh, look at all those beautiful trees. Yes, there's something magical about them. It was mid-afternoon, but they continued walking and soon came to a beautiful meadow. Nearby was a little pond. Let's sit here for a bit. He gazed at the water and a feeling of quiet joy came over him. Do you feel like I do? That she's all around us, but we can't see any definite shape? Yes, yes. Okay, then let's rest for a while under the shade of this tree. Within a minute or so, they were fast asleep. Will Cornelia, Owen, and Dudley be able to talk to Mother Nature 
and ask for her help? And if so, what will be her answer? We'll find out in part 3 of this loving tale when we continue to follow the adventures of Cornelia, Owen, and Dudley and their farmyard friends. For more information on Marin Haley Moss and her books, please visit MarinHaleyMoss.com. Thank you, cherished viewers, for your pleasant company on today's show. Join us again on Wednesday, May 15th for part 3 of Mother Nature's Secret, a charming vegan tale by Marion Haley Moss.